that you should take out your equity and your profits, get out of housing. What are these people thinking? Hey, look, a house is a place to live. It is not a place to make money. The place you make money is in your career, in expanding your business, in growing your business, in creating new products and selling those products. It's not in your house. What, are you gonna go live on a street corner, in a tent, with your wife and your kids? No, you don't capture your equity and profits as the way to protect yourself and your wealth. You create wealth by working. Look, real estate is a great place to make money if you're not in it for the short term. If you look back over the last 20 years, or 1950, when your grandfather bought a house for $40,000 or $50,000, and he was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. What are we doing, right? How can we pay for this? Hey, look, he should have bought the whole neighborhood in retrospect. 20 years from now, in your neighborhood, you will look up and think that today's prices for real estate is a steal. The most successful people in the world share many of the same ideas and values. But what is this mindset that allows them to go places not many other people can? Don't get too caught up on one idea or money-making venture. Use your career, business, and growing your business to make money. You have to create wealth by working. And once you start working, never allow yourself to become lazy. Get rid of the consumer mindset of living in a competing market. Business competition only benefits the customer. Instead, dominate in your industry and don't settle for less. There are times you may be wrong, but never be uncertain. If you don't take chances, then you will never do anything at all. The biggest mistake you can make is by never going big enough and becoming comfortable. That doesn't mean you should never be fearful. Have fear, but use it to your advantage. Allow it to motivate you to go further. Get input from others, but always be ready to take a chance anyway. These risks can sometimes yield the biggest results and help you build your brand. Even if you may lose money on a venture, learn to understand the reality of money and what it actually takes to fund a project. Don't be scared to spend money for the potential to make money. Don't let finances be one of your fears. Understand how it works and you can learn how to solve your problems. Forge your own way of thinking, but remember what it means to have the mindset of a winner. Look, if you want to get rich, you want to be really successful. When I say rich, I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about a rich life. Look, if you want to be in business for yourself and free, you must learn to dominate. How many were trained this? Competition is a healthy thing. That message was not being delivered to entrepreneurs. That message was being delivered to consumers. There was somebody saying, look, the more, more oil companies we have, the better, because it's good for the customer. The, the more technology companies we have, it's not just Microsoft, the better for the customer. You know, improvements and products comes from competition, but if you're the one playing the game, you wanna dominate the field. So look, here's the deal. I might be wrong in what I say, okay? I might be wrong in the things I do in my life and the business that I started. My family's told me not to start every business that I've been involved in, every one of them. Every one of them was a risk. Every one of them I had to take a chance. I remember my mom used to tell me, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I'm like, you wouldn't do anything. Particularly when you get successful, like, you know, in America, the middle class is like, the, the biggest problem in this country, in my view, is, and the biggest mistake I've made, two biggest mistakes I've made is, number one, not going big enough, and number two, when I get comfortable, getting seduced. Like, the fear thing, the fear thing, that I use fear. Fear is not something people should worry about. It's something they should consume, like you should eat it. Like, I eat it. Like, hey, what, what am I most scared to do right now? Every time I've done the thing that scared me most, I had a big freaking spike in my life. Now, the reason I did that was because I thought that that was a brilliant marketing play. Personally, thought it was. I have 16 executive staff in my company, 165 employees. If we did a poll, I did a poll with the execs. Should I do this? 100% said, do not do this. I said, forget the money. They're like, Dude, we're never gonna make the money back. We can't sell the t enough tickets for enough money. I'm, so I'm telling you, we will be fine. We will be profitable the day we get there. I'd done the math on it. We just gotta sell the tickets. And I said, if we get, if we pull this off, we're not gonna make a lot of money on the deal. We will have the biggest brand lift that this, that, that my name has had in 30 years. But when he died, the relationship's kind of over. Yeah. You know, you, you, and now you're like, I'd rather have a bad relationship. Then my mom tries to fill in both places and, and, um, and she didn't know how to bring money in. This is where all the money stuff, where, where people hear me talking about money a lot. Cause I understand the reality of money. Like 
Doesn't mean other people don't. I just don't think people are actually maybe old enough yet to understand what it actually takes to fund a project. Like you went through that part where you had a little bit of money and then you started spending it. Dude, look, when I had money, I never spent any of it. Like I tightened that thing down. The more money I got, the tighter I got. Like you give me a million dollars. When I got a million dollars, I became so frugal I could like, because I got <laughs> I scared. To that. What, yeah. what, what I was wow. really, I was scared. I didn't okay. know how to bring money in. I watched that when my dad died, I watched my mom go into terror when she should have been in grief. And so that's been a real kind of, you use the word trigger. A trigger for me is like, I don't want to be in fear around money all the yeah. time. And, and I was from 10 years old till probably 51 years old. The fear of money, not understanding it, how to bring it in, how to manage it, how to multiply it. No, knowing I couldn't help my mom when I was 10, 12, 15, 20 years old. Solve my mother's problem. Yeah, right. It wasn't really about providing for it. It was about, I wanted yeah. to solve this one problem she had. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content.